Hello, boys and girls. Do you remember the name of the wise king of Israel? Yes, King Solomon. But sadly, after King Solomon died, there were many bad kings. And this is one of them. His name is King Zedekiah. His black heart is to show that he did not love God. And this is not good. God wants us to love him. Let's make a big heart here in our hands and say, God wants us to love him. God also wants us to obey his words. But King Zedekiah turned away from God's word. And that's not good. Let's say together, God wants us to obey his rules. So God sent prophets to Israel. And this is one of them. His name is Jeremiah. And his red heart that has the word God on it shows is to show that Jeremiah loved God, and that's good. And prophets like Jeremiah is to tell people God, what God has to say, God's words to them. But instead of listening, they walked away. They do not want to listen to God's word. Instead, they got to grope and tie Jeremiah with rope. And then they brought him to a cistern. Cistern is a deep hole in the ground. And they put him into the cistern. Lowered him with the rope. Let's see what happens inside the cistern. In the cistern, there's mud. So Jeremiah was sinking lower and lower into the mud. There's no food, no water in the cistern. So if no one helps him, he's going to die. And he cannot come out by himself. But thankfully, even though King Zedekiah was not a good king. He did not want Jeremiah to die. So he commanded that 30 men come and rescue him. So men came and sent down old rag into the cistern and some rope down the cistern. And Jeremiah tied the rag under his arm like this. Tied it under his arm. And he also tied the rope right under the rag. So the rag is to help Jeremiah not get hurt from the rope. Tie the rope under his arm, under the rag. This was, he was in the cistern. And the men, 30 men, took the rope, pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled Jeremiah out of the cistern. They rescued him. And just like that, we can be stuck in the mud in sin, like Jeremiah was stuck in the mud. But God sent Jesus to die for our sins and rescue us from our sins, just like Jeremiah was.
this rescue from the cistern. Let's thank God. Let's put our hands together and pray to God. Dear God, we thank you for this lesson about Jeremiah that helps us to remember that we need a rescuer. And thank you for sending Jesus <clears throat> to be our savior and rescuer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now let's make Jeremiah getting rescued. Take a piece of paper, fold it in half, fold another half, and open it up. And cut, cut, cut one square, one rectangle. And in the rectangle, with your crayon, draw Jeremiah. And you want his arm to be a little bit out. So you can draw Jeremiah like this. Or you can draw Jeremiah in your own way. This is Jeremiah that my granddaughter drew. She's four years old, and you can see she drew her arms out a little bit so we can put rope and rag under it. And you cut out Jeremiah, and you draw a red heart on him. If heart is hard to, for you to draw, you can draw a red circle and write G-O-D to show that Jeremiah loved God. Then you take your piece of rag and put it around under his arm, round him. And then you tape it onto him to be secure. Take a piece of tape, tape it on, the rag stays on him. And then take the rope or string that you have and you're going to tie it to Jeremiah. If you know how to make a knot, make a knot. If you need help, ask someone to help you. You can make two knots. So it stays on well. And then bring your container, that's your sister, and you lower him down into the sister, and he's stuck in mud, but he was rescued. This story helps us remember sometimes we are stuck in mud. We are all sinners, but God sent Jesus to rescue us from our sin. And Jesus is our savior. See you next Sunday.